Good morning, adventurers. <clears throat> it is almost 9 o'clock in the morning, and I am headed to Bestill Springs. I got an appointment to get the truck in the shop to get the gooseneck hitch fixed in this old girl. Oh. We're just about there. Uh, for me, it's probably about a 45 minute drive from Provo Canyon out back out the pace. shop already. So they already got the truck in the shop. So this here is the boss. Going. Pretty good. I come down here when they uh, I need stuff to fix. So, Bestil Springs, what's your name? Uh, so, we're now Fleet Pride. My name's Kurt. Formerly Bestil Springs, but we got all the same people. Uh, good crew here, so we're about to get this ball and stuff. Awesome. So, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Well, guys, Bestil Springs has got it handled. So, now we're going to head to Spanish Fork and find a new ball hitch. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. We've had a pretty interesting day today. So, yeah, we uh, got the truck all handled, uh, Vestal Springs. They uh, got the hitch fixed in the back of my truck so we can have our rig. I don't have to depend on anybody. If I decide that I want to hook up and go, we can hook up and go. Now, Bestil Springs, you're thinking that, okay, they're just a spring company. I've been uh, using Bestil Springs for a lot of stuff, like uh, when my Jeep axle or uh, drive lines went out, they repaired that. So Bestil Springs, they do a lot. Um, they had to cut the, uh, the spring or the ball hitch out of the hitch because it was just so rusted in there um, the guy didn't want to be on camera uh, having me film it so that's why I had to cut it short 
on that. Uh, best of springs, they do a lot. They they do lifts. They can handle stuff like what I had to do with my hitch. And uh, without them, I don't think it would have got done. Um, Dr. Jeep uh, and Super Auto Ranch, uh, uh, Jimmy, he's great, but they just get so busy and swamped that they wasn't able to handle handle doing the job right now. And I needed the I needed the hitch though done. I don't like being not being able to haul my rig. If I decide that I want to go, I can go. Not saying I'm going anywhere right now. Just saying if I need to up and leave at any time, I can now. Um, it was a little. It didn't cost too much. It wasn't too bad on it. But Bestil Springs, they do a lot. They do a lot of like your. You could tell like the dump trucks. They had a lot of fifth wheel trailers in there this this go around today, and I'm not sure what they were doing on them. But I'm, I'm my guess was they were putting probably a lift making a more of an off-road kind of trailer kind of thing is what I was guessing but if you guys ever need like stuff done like what I needed to do head over to Bestville Springs and they'll they'll get you taken care of they're they're awesome oh so tonight I haven't done other than the brisket and uh, the brisket the the park the the crew said it was the best brisket they've ever had and not any of them really put any barbecue sauce on it and there was nothing left uh as you can tell by the the photo right here somewhere in the photo i'm sorry guys i really hate being in front of the camera so last night um i did some barbecued chicken it came out awesome and i have a whole piece of chicken left Oh. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, but we'll. Mm. So we got our our barbecued chicken left over now. If there would have been a second person I'm sure when I cook stuff or package stuff my meats and things like that I always do it in twos uh, just in case I do have a guest uh, so let's get to I think I've been in this place, my new home now, for a little about mm, I think about just about three weeks now, and I absolutely love it. Now that they got the uh, the power converter new and working. The, uh, that up and going everything is working perfectly I absolutely love my new home it's been comfortable I'm still having issues like I said earlier with the washer and dryer so I think I'm just going to have to get a new one We have made this before on my channel. Um, this is, uh, sorry, I'm saying um a lot. We are going to make barbecued chicken Alfredo. Now, if you have a big family, you're going to want to put in the whole box, but it's just me, so I don't need the whole box.
So yeah, I think I've been in this place a little bit in about just about three weeks. Facebook says we're well, not Facebook, but YouTube says two. Two weeks ago was my reveal video. So now we're just waiting for our uh, noodles to uh, boil and get done. All right, guys, so halfway through my cook, uh, on the noodles even, the propane on the one bottle went out. Uh, I, I haven't, I don't know this system. Um, it was pretty cool. Uh, as soon as I opened up the, uh, the other bottle and shut the one tank off, it gave me the green light that the propane was good to go. Uh, I, if I had to guess, I think I've been in my new home for about a month. And like I said, it's been absolutely awesome. So to have one propane bottle last a month, uh, you know, I have had to turn the heat on a little bit. Where we're at, we're kind of in a canyon, in, in, a, in a bottom of a bowl, so it's a lot cooler here and colder here. Um, hey Google, what's the temperature in Provo Canyon right now? The current temperature in Provo Canyon is 81 degrees. We all know how to make noodles, I hope. Where are we going to put that? Well, I'm glad it didn't end up ruining my noodles. And it didn't. Like, man, it sure does take a long, long time for the noodles to cook. I like to put butter in my noodles just so they don't stick together. Now we can turn that baby way down. Good stuff. I like to put a little bit of milk in the bottom. Get every last drop out of there. makes it extra creamier. So you really don't need to buy two two bottles of Alfredo. So let me show you this chicken. That's how the chicken turned out. Really awesome, really good on a Traeger.
But yeah, this kitchen has been absolutely amazing. I really haven't used it a whole lot. But I will. I guess I do use it a lot every day. Most of the time I use the air fryer. Guessed it, we're gonna put in our garlic. Keep the mosquitoes away. I haven't been dead all year because I eat garlic. Lemon pepper. A little red wine vinegar is always good. Pasta, noodles, dish, you want it creamy. Even down to your uh, mac and cheese. There's nothing worse than dry pasta. I kind of really cut back on my salt intake. I don't know why, I just have. One thing I've learned about this place, you know, having the light colored carpets, the countertops, is everything is noticeable. So it's like, it's, it's a daily thing to where I'm always constantly wiping the cupboards down, vacuuming the carpets. Of course, we've got to have our teeth. The only thing I don't like not having working right now is my washer and dryer. That really sucks. And everybody I contact, they don't want to sell their stuff. I don't know why. They don't want to sell their stuff, but nobody wants to answer their ads. So if you guys are going to put an ad for your stuff for sale on the marketplace or KSL, please answer. There's nothing more irritating than wanting something and you guys don't respond. We all know that you have your phones in your hand 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and you're glued to it. If you're, if you're at work or something like that, I get it, but it doesn't take no time out of your day to turn around and say, hey, yes, it's still for sale.
I love having my kitchen drawer up here. Yeah. I always taste your food. Don't worry, I got more. more red wine vinegar. So our drone company, our sponsor, Madman's Minis, is changed their name to Skeeter Hawkins Drones. That's where you're going to find them now on our on Facebook. Uh, they're, they're wanting to go in LLC. So there you have it. Perfect. All right, guys, I'll grab you. Ding. Oh. Whoop. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Alright, there you have it. I'm just going to let this heat up, but it's nice, gooey, cheesy. We can go ahead and turn our fire down to way low. This mill, it was under $10. So, all right, guys, there you have it. Oh, so, my update, like I said, everything is running, running perfectly. I'm comfortable. Everything is amazing. Oh, I love my new home, and it, it's, it's been absolutely amazing. I'm enjoying it. Oh, it was definitely a well win. We'll get the washer and dryer thing figured out. Bestil Springs uh, for your all that hard stuff that you need to have fixed like they how they fixed my hitch right here and once again uh freeway propane uh, as you've seen in the shirt today if you guys mention uh rv overland 01 uh they'll give you a nice discount go down and talk to richie down there at freeway propane if you guys want 15 percent off your drones your dji drones your merch or anything head over to to uh, Skeeter Hawkins Drones on Facebook and mention the code RV Overland 01 and you'll also get a shout out where you'll get a 15% discount with them. We do have some more merch coming. We are looking to give away another drone here in the next little while, uh, especially for Christmas. So stay tuned for that uh, that Christmas drone coming. I don't know what drone it's going to be, but it should be pretty cool. Uh, we do have shirts coming, RV Overland shirts and Matt or Skeeter drone shirts. I've been calling it Bad Men's Minis for so long, it's hard to get over that change. So that's something we have to deal with. This has a light up here. 
but I think it's burned out. We need a new one. We'll figure that out. I got some things we have to do to the RV. Oh, I'll bring you along for that. Need to get up on the roof and do some cleaning up there. So until next time, guys. Oh, our, our Alaska sunsets, they have been really, really, really dark and stormy, rainy, and cloudy. So we haven't had any sunsets lately out there. So I haven't forgot about them. It's just if there's no sunsets, there's no sunsets. Oh, I might have to pull one out of the vault for you guys. But until next time, stay safe, stay cool, and hope to see you on the road. And Jacobsons, thank you for helping me in our last recreation video. That was so awesome. You guys did a great job.